Google Search Console allows you to simply track and measure your website's organic search traffic and performance, as well as other key metrics that you can use to improve your website's visibility on Google. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back, I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to guide you through how to simply set up and verify your website with Google Search Console in 2021. Now in this tutorial I'm going to share three simple methods that you can use to verify your website with Google Search Console in just a few easy steps. So make sure you watch this video all the way through to the end in order to identify the best method for you based on your personal preferences. Okay, so before we launch into this Google Search Console tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and set up and verify your website with Google Search Console. <music> Okay, so let's get straight into setting up and verifying your website with Google Search Console. The first thing you need to do is head over to search.google.com slash search dash console or simply type in Google Search Console into Google and then click on their website and you'll arrive here. I'll also share the link in the description below this video. Then all you need to do is navigate over to start now then go ahead and log in with your Google account. Now, if you don't already have a Google account, what you can do is come down here and create a Google account for free. And that's gonna allow you to access Google Search Console. So what we're gonna do is add our details and meet you inside Google Search Console. And here we are within our Google Search Console. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, what we wanna do is cover three simple methods that you can use to verify and set up your website with Google Search Console. So the first method that we wanna to cover today is verifying your website with Google Search Console through Google Analytics. Now, this is the fastest and easiest method that we're gonna to discuss today. However, you might not already have Google Analytics Analytics connected with your website. Now if you do, all you need to do is navigate up here and simply add your website URL exactly how it appears online. And as you can see, what I've done is pasted in our website URL. Now you want to make sure that your account, your Google account that you're using, that you signed up to Google Search Console, is the same as your Google Analytics account. Then simply come down and click continue. And Google Search Console will take a moment to verify. And just like that, you can see that we've verified our website with Google Search Console. The verification method that we used was with Google Analytics because we already had Google Analytics connected with our website. Now, if you haven't already installed and set up Google Analytics with your website, then what you can do is watch our step-by-step -step beginner's guide that will take you through the process of initially setting up Google Analytics. So what I'll do is add that up above and link it down in our description below this video. Okay, now the next method to set up and verify your website with Google Search Console is through your cPanel. So if you have access to your cPanel, most websites do have a cPanel these days, then I'm gonna show you how to verify your website with Google Search Console through the cPanel. Simply come down and click done. And then what we're gonna do is simply navigate under URL prefix and add our website URL in here again. Then come down and click continue. Then simply navigate up to HTML file and come down to download the file. Simply click on this file here to download it. And that's gonna download this file onto your computer. Then from here to verify our ownership through the cPanel, what we wanna do is log into our cPanel. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now and meet you inside the cPanel. Okay, so here we are within our cPanel. What we wanna do is navigate over to Files, under Files, click on File Manager. Now, if you're verifying your website with Google Search Console through this method, through the cPanel, it might look daunting, but trust me, it's very straightforward. Then simply navigate up to public HTML and click here. 
then all we need to do is simply upload the file that we downloaded from Google Search Console into our public folder. To do that, simply navigate up to Upload and then come down and locate the file that we downloaded earlier. And here is the HTML file that we downloaded. And now what we want to do is simply click it and click open to upload the file into our folder. And just like that, you can see that we've successfully uploaded the file. Then navigate back to your folder. And down here, you can see that we've successfully uploaded this HTML file into our public folder. Now what we can do is head back to our cPanel dashboard by simply navigating up to the top left hand side and just like that we've completed everything we needed to do within our cPanel so what we can do now is head back to Google Search Console and like I just showed you what we've already done is we've downloaded this HTML file and we've uploaded that to our public folder within our cPanel then once you've done that come down and simply click verify and just like that, through the cPanel, the HTML file, we have completed the verification. So that is the second method. Now what we want to do is discuss the third method. And this method is verifying your website with Google Search Console, however, through a plugin. So what we're going to do is come down and click Done. And the third method is a simple process if you have a WordPress website. Because what we want to do is install a WordPress plugin. Now first things first, again what we need to do is enter in our website URL. And just like that, again I've entered in our website URL. Now an important note, we're using HTTP, not HTTPS, which is more secure. Now most likely if your website is already up online and you have a lock icon in the top left hand corner, then that means your site is secured. Now because this is just a test site, an example site, we only have HTTP. So remember, if your site is secured, you want to add HTTPS. Then come down and click continue. And this time what we want to do is come down to HTML tag, click here, and then scroll down and what we want to do is copy this bit of code over here by simply clicking copy. And then what we want to do with this copied HTML tag is we want to insert it in the head section of our website. And we're going to do this through a WordPress plugin. It's a very straightforward and simple process to follow. So what we need to do now is head over to our WordPress dashboard and install a plugin. So head over to your WordPress dashboard and we'll meet you there. Okay, so once you've logged into your WordPress dashboard, simply navigate over to plugins and then come down and click add new. Then simply navigate up to the search bar and type in insert headers and footers. Then come down and simply locate insert headers and footers by WP Beginner. So you can see that this plugin is by WP Beginner. You can see that they've had over 1 million active installations and positive reviews. Then simply navigate up to Install Now and then click Activate. Okay, so now that we've installed and activated this plugin, what we need to do is head over to Settings on the left hand side and under Settings, what we want to do is come down to Insert Headers and Footers. Then here simply navigate up to scripts in header. Here all we need to do is simply paste in the code that we copied from Google Search Console under HTML tag. And as you can see this is the HTML tag that we copied. And once you've done that simply scroll down to the bottom of the page and click save. And as you can see settings have been saved. And now that we've done that, all we need to do is verify this method. So to do that, head back to Google Search Console. And then here, all we need to do is locate HTML tag again, and then come down and click Verify. Give Google Search Console a moment to check the verification. And just like that, you can see that the ownership is verified. Verification method, HTML tag. And there we have it guys, those are three ways, three methods that you can use to verify your website with Google Search Console. 
Now to simply dive into your Google Search Console so you can start measuring your traffic and performance, all you need to do is click Go to Property. And congratulations, just like that, you've set up and verified your website with Google Search Console. Now the information you can see on this screen, what we're gonna do is go through a more in-depth tutorial on actually understanding all the different features and metrics within Google Search Console in another tutorial. And that is it for this part one tutorial to help you initially set up and verify Google Search Console. Make sure you watch part two, which will cover how you can navigate and make the most of Google Search Console. I'll pop that video down in the description below this video. Now, if you have any questions about this video, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like below this video, subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.